Welcome to livingpianos.com and virtualsheetmusic.com. I'm Robert Estrin with a show today, Why a Piano is Never in Tune. How can that be, you might wonder. You, you get your piano tuned, you figure it's perfectly in tune. But is it? That's the question for today. The short answer is no, your piano is never really in tune. Why is this? Well, you have to go back historically to understand this and understand how other instruments produce pitch. For example, when singing, the pitches are com completely out of your head. You don't have a certain key to push. A violinist, the fretboard doesn't have, there's no frets. The fingerboard, I should say, has no frets. So it's a continuous way that you can, you can produce pitch and notes between the notes. Even a guitar can bend the notes of each string. So other instruments can nuance the pitch. Now, why would you want to? Well, here's the secret. On instruments, long time ago, keyboards were tuned for a specific key. So if you were playing a piece in G major, the keyboard would be tuned for G major. It would sound okay in, in closely related keys like D major, maybe even A major, but if you got to E flat major or G flat major, it would sound pretty horrendous. So tuning started to evolve with compromises. So maybe it wouldn't be perfect in, in D, let's say, but it would sound good in D, G, C, and maybe even A and E, and then maybe not so good in the flat keys. Eventually, what happened was the, all the pitches were equalized so that all the half steps are equal. So when a piano tuner tunes your piano, the first thing they do is they set the temperament. What is the temperament? The temperament is taking an octave and making all the half steps equal. What this means is that when you play any other interval on a piano, that is a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh, they're all equally out of tune in all keys. So a piano that has just been tuned, if you play a perfect fifth, the perfect fifth is not really in tune, nor is the fourth, the thirds, they're all out. And we are so used to what's called tempered tuning based upon the temperament that it might not seem that it's out of tune. However, if a string player tries to match pitch with a piano exactly, they will naturally make the adjustments to play in tune because there are differences in pitch. And it goes beyond this. One other facet beyond tempered tuning equal half steps is something called stretch octaves. The ears actually hear flat in the high register. So to compensate for that, a piano that is tuned perfectly will sound flat in the high register. That's why tuners will stretch the tuning so that instead of multiplying, doubling the frequencies from A440 to 880, it's just a fraction greater than that as you go higher. So it really comes down to this. A great tuning is actually a compromise and there is as much art to it as there is science. So when your piano has just been tuned, realize it's perfectly out of tune and that's the best you can hope for. Thanks so much for joining me. Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com and virtualsheetmusic.com.